and on board. Oh, we need you in stream chat. Shit. Yeah. I'll move over. All right. Welcome okay. back, everyone. So, yeah, a little change of plans on the schedule. It says Earthbound right now. A little miscommunication. So we are going to have Flashy step up to the plate here. Play some Ed Ed and Eddie for the PC. All right. So I'm here yeah, to save me the a, marathon. Yeah, save, hashtag save the thon, guys. All right. Oh, I'll give you a three, two, here. one when you're ready. Yeah, so... Timer starts when I hit enter on the check box, on the text box, so you can just give me a timer whenever you want. Yeah. Uh, three, two, one, go. Alright, so this is Ed Ed Nettie. Um, I'm Flashy. In the call with me, I have my good friend, Big Knight. So, um, so here's the first part of RNG in this game. I have to pick up this cat. I have to throw it at a dog. There's some RNG in this game. Oh no, I don't want to retry the chicken chase. Jesus Christ. Okay. Usually that doesn't happen if I um, get like good cat RNG. But since I got bad cat RNG, the chicken timer went off. That's a little slow. But it's all good. So I'm playing as the three Eds, and each Ed has its specific ability. Um. I'll go over them as I as I need to, but the main movement thing that we use to go fast is this thing called the batter ed, or the big ed named um named Ed with the one D um goes fast, and they do like this thing where they like roll on the ground or something. Looks like that, and anything I hit with the batter ed like gets stunned. So what I'm doing right now is I'm picking up squirrels and throwing it into windows. I can. Like, continue with the level, I guess. Um, the squirrels are pretty good. Usually they're RNG, and you have to get kind of lucky. That was that was pretty alright, though. So now here's the another part of RNG called the pigs, or the wolfrids, or whatever. I need to throw these pigs into their pen. And this is actually, like, pretty good RNG. Yeah, this is this is solid. Um, I think their spots are always in the general same area where the pigs spawn, but then they start moving around and depending on where they move and stuff like that, um, it can be pretty bad. But that was really good, so. Having a good old time right now. Oh, here comes Sewer. Um, in this game, there's a lot of clips that you use by going into double D's first person like slingshot and like know. rubbing the head against the wall. Unsanitary, to say the so least. we use that to clip in and I'm gonna do the first one right here. It's a little swag strat I found not too long ago. See if I can get it fast. A lot of clips in this game are pretty hard but this one's not too hard. I say that but he's not clipping into the wall right now. Alright, there we go. At this point, I think I'm slower than normal route, but I'm doing it just to show off, because it's pretty cool. So yeah, I just skipped... I just skipped doing a skip called bridge skip. So, um, normally what we'd do... Oh, what just happened? So there's supposed to be an alligator there, but I guess he, like, disappeared. Um, so as I was saying, normally we'd do this thing where we, like, trample lead. And like, we summon the Eds up to where the bridge is, and like a bunch of dumb stuff. There's a chance that you could like get your you could get your Eds stuck, and then you have to reset the trick. And it's pretty dumb, so I just kind of skip doing all that. My my, intriguing. Now I'm gonna we're gonna go to the hardest clip in the game right now. Um, it's called Sewer Clip, or I don't think it has a name, I call it Sewer Clip though. Um, I'm gonna attempt it for a little bit, and if I can't get it, I'll just do the normal route. The normal route is a pretty good amount slower than this clip though. Let's hope we get it. Oh, he bounced out, okay. So what we want him to do is like kind of go up, 
and then start clipping downwards so he goes in the wall like that and then prematurely switch to him so I didn't go all the way in move Eddie out of the way Okay, I'm really close to getting this. Alright, there we go. So that was sewer clip. That wasn't super fast, but it was still faster than doing the casual route. And now what we're gonna do is we're in, we're in Jimmy's backyard. We're supposed to like sneak into his party or whatever. And we're gonna like break his pinatas. And like make him cry or something. We skip that cutscene though. Curse my predilection for confectionaries. And then we have this fight with the Kanker sisters, which is kinda hard, kinda not hard. And it depends. The hitboxes on like these Kankers that are like coming out of the ground to like blow kisses at you and give you damage are really bad. So you kinda have to hope you just hit them and get lucky. That time I didn't hit her. And the goal is to like knock like these little pinata things on top of the blue haired canker sister named Marie, I think. So you see right there, I just dropped like a fridge on her head. Um, my health is kinda low. Hopefully, I don't get. Oh. Please? Okay, that was good. That was pretty good. Oh, okay. So I like missed the trigger right there and. Went into a trample head instead of a batter head, which is what this is. That lost me like a few seconds. Not, not a big deal though. Now we're gonna go to scam three, which is split up into two scams. Um, it's split up into two scams because we go through it, and then we hit like a trigger to get a cutscene, and then we have to backtrack through it. Oh. So, um, this is a tower of Eddie. We use it to like go on narrow things like that As the game told you in Comic Sans right there in the bottom <laughs> Love Comic Sans So this is a nice little thing where we have to give Jimmy his dolls that are on top of the trees I don't know how they get up there But they're up there Um, there's a skip here, but I don't do it and I don't think anyone else does it Because it's, it's maybe like a few seconds faster and it's really hard So now I'm gonna do tractor skip. Not a lot of people do this, but I do it because I'm fucking cool. I don't know why a lot of people don't do it. Yeah, like, it's not very hard, but. Well, the record doesn't use a lot of the, like fast strats. Yeah. Well, record is easily improvable just because, like, execution wise, it was really fucking good. But... Yeah, like Kona, who has world record, is really consistent and he has really good movement. But there are a few strats that you can implement to make the run a little faster. The thing about this game is though, grinding it's super annoying. Alright, so that was a kind of slow tractor skip. It wasn't too bad though. And now we're gonna do something called fog skip. Oh, I bonked on the, bonked on the thing. So you don't want to bonk on that optimally. But I'm an, an optimal boy. So this is fog skip where I go out of bounds here. And then I run up against this and I jump like that. It's a little harder than it looks. And especially when you're first starting out, it's pretty hard. But it ain't, it ain't too bad. Um, it's called fog skip because it was found by Papa Fog. We don't skip any fog. I have a hair in my mouth and it's really annoying me. Alright, so here's another skip called Kevin's Can Skip or something. Kevin's Can Game. Alright, so that was a really good clip. Sometimes it takes me a really long time to clip in. But I'm, what I'm doing is called a batter head clip where I batter head into the wall, bonk, and then like slightly turn so a double D goes through. And it works on like thin, like little things like fences and stuff like that. Um, this second clip is giving me some trouble. What I have to do is I have to clip in and then clip back. Like, I have to clip out of bounds and then clip back in bounds. Oh yeah, it's not... not being nice to me. Come on.
Alright, there we go. That was a little slow. Or a lot slow. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this like honey thing on Johnny and the bees are gonna get out of the way. I can go through. And I'm gonna walk on that wooden plank. I'm gonna kill this rat so he doesn't bother me while I try to open the door. Intriguing. And bam, that's the first half of Scam 3. So, uh, no, 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 no. here's the second half. I don't know what I was trying to say. I need damage boosted by this dog. Pretty, pretty neat. Here's my boy Jonathan and Plank. And, um, Johnny makes some weird noises in this part of the game. So, we're supposed to do this, like, Tower of Eddie thing where we hide behind these, like, wooden telephone posts. But instead we just like walk behind them and he doesn't notice us. Kind of dope. So I just shot that bell and now I'm gonna do... I'm gonna try to do a Naz. Oh, okay. Um, sometimes you can get a cutscene skip if you like hug the left well, but I didn't hug the le left well. So, it's whatever. It's all good. So basically I'm just backtracking through the level. Here I'm gonna try to get a frame perfect thing. I didn't get it. Whatever. Perfect strats are easy, but I'm bad. So I'm gonna like aim bot throw this paint can at Jimmy and he's gonna run at like a million miles per hour away from me. Now I'm ahead of him. So I'm gonna do this like strategic bonk right here. Okay, I didn't get the strategic bonk. I had like a bad angle. Um, so now I have to wait for this cycle. Oh god, she sees me. Um, did you explain why Ed? Uh, Eddie is green, and why you have to not be seen by the other kids? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, you want to explain it, or? Uh, basically. So, Ed Eddie ate a jawbreaker that was covered in like athletic foot powder or whatever the heck, and um, he got he got sick, and he doesn't want the other kids to see him. So, yeah. I have to get I have to get to somebody's house. I don't remember. I think it's Eddie's house. Yeah. So I just you know. Yeah. But yeah, he's got like pimples or something. Or his face is like green, but whenever you run into Jimmy, he's like, ah, pimples. <laughs> so this is my favorite scam, scam four. Um, it's like this obstacle course thing for the urban rangers. I don't know if you've watched the show, Ed and Nenny. The urban rangers are a pretty nice bunch of guys. Shout out to the urban rangers. Um, I'm gonna hope I get good rat RNG here so he cancels my thing. Oh, he did it, what a beast. Alright, so if I get bad red RNG, um, I have to like do this like animation where I get off the bad red. Or not, not the bad red, the Tower of Eddie. But I get good red RNG, so he kind of just like knocked me off and it's fast. Pretty dope. Um, ooh, okay. That was a little spooky. Here comes another skip. Um, this is... Switch skip? Dang. Easy as one, two, three. A lot of people like to go into first person and set that up, but um, I kind of just do it without a setup and I get it most of the time. All right, let's hope we get a good washing machine cycle. Oh no. Okay. Whatever, let's pretend that we got a good washing machine cycle. Wow, dude, good cycle. Dope. So I'm gonna hit the switch here and then we're gonna go to another skip. This game has a lot of skips in it. This is called Jimmy Game Skip. So we're supposed to do this like whack-a-mole thing where we hit Jimmy's head, but instead I'm just gonna clip Ed through the door. This clip's kind of weird because Ed has to be facing me for it to work. Wow, that was like really fucking fast. You guys have no idea how fast that was? Holy shit. Okay. So... Basically I'm just kind of doing this obstacle course and like shooting down things for me to walk on and such. And next we have one of the first skips I think that was found in this game. My, my. Um, Intriguing. It's called garbage skip because we used to do this thing where we get like barrels and like jump on them. They were called garbage. Now I skipped that. It's called garbage skip. So I'm gonna manipulate Eddie to jump over this fence. Oh what? He walked on top of it. I hate you Eddie. Okay. So what he's supposed to do is he's supposed to jump over. I'm manipulating his AI so that he like wants to run towards me. Oh god, I'm not getting this now. Probably should have practiced this, but it's kind of short notice. 
Oh my god, Eddie, how could you? Basically, the way we found this skip is uh, Kona was just playing around on the other side of the gate. And somehow got Eddie to jump over the gate. So you're like, oh, dude, try to replicate that on the other side. And he managed to do it. I think Valve managed to do it first. Yeah. Valve found oh my God, a lot of shit in this game. Eddie is like, ooh, God. Eddie, why? He's like walking on top of the gate, which is like really annoying. Oh, no. Come on, Eddie. Eddie, please. Usually it doesn't take me this many tries, I promise. Because I got that Jimmy clip too fast, the game thought it was unfair. Mr. Krabs is in there. Eddie, why? Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Losers. So that's that's a, that's the strat. That lost me a couple minutes, but it's all good, Holmes. So there's a strat here that I can do that I saw Zave do. Zave Gwyn, he runs this game. But when I tried it, um, I didn't get it. So I'm just gonna hit Victor. That was like three cycle Victor, which is like super bad, like awful. One cycle Victor is the, the best. Shout out to my boy Victor, honestly. So this is the Kevin race on this like wooden thing. Um, I'm gonna hope that I like don't fall off. Sometimes I read chat during this. I don't have chat open right now though, so that, I don't think that's a problem. But sometimes I read chat and fall off and lose a very large amount of time. I'm just yeah. waiting for the day yeah, that yeah, Weckon yeah, comes yeah, back yeah. to the speedrunning community just to do that stupid <laughs> Kevin race strat where he like throws a fucking box, jumps yeah. off of it. I'm waiting for it. It's gonna happen. Shout out to Weckon. I miss him. Yeah, Weckon's the guy who showed everyone that there's a PC version of this game. Open this, blah blah blah. Well, not open. I'm gonna go inside. This is a skip that skips like a really big level. If I get it, all right. I did not get it. Um, what I'm doing is I'm getting behind this like saw, and there are these canker sisters in front of it. And usually, if I get too close to them, they get like mad at me. I keep missing it. It's bad. I'm bad. Um, what do they do? What was I saying? Uh, well, well, if you get close to them, they like catch you and like kill you or whatever. They kiss you, and you're supposed to like get them like a bunch of stuff from inside this haunted house that we're in. I think the timer paused, by the way. Okay, so this is being kind of dumb. I usually, like, I'm usually pretty alright at this. I don't know why it's taking me so long. But, like, the timer's paused, so it's alright. It's not like I'm losing time right now. You should probably tell someone in the Discord about this, by the way. Uh, I think you did. Alright. I think you did. I did? Yeah. Alright, there we go. I just got it. That was dope. Took me a really long time. Okay, nice, the timer stopped. 16, 28, any percent is dead. Okay, so this is the last scam in the game. It's a little long. There's a clip that you can do. There's two clips that you can do to skip these power cells at the beginning, 
I'm gonna do the slower, older strat because I'm better at it and I suck at the faster strat. Oh, the timer's going again. Hell yeah. No. Hit these rats over here with Double D's ruler. Um, Double D's ruler is like really garbage as a weapon. Like, so oftentimes you'll see us like spinning around so we don't get hit. This is the skip. What I'm doing is I'm half clipping Ed into the wall, and I'm gonna do a bad Ed clip. Okay, I did it wrong. Um, so, let's do this again. I'm half clipping Ed into the wall, and I'm gonna do a bad Ed. Oh no, dude, what? Okay, so I'm half clipping Ed into the wall, and I'm gonna do a bad Ed clip. Oh my god, he didn't go in, dude, what the F? I'm going to half clip Ed into the wall. He's half clipped right there. And batter Ed clip. Did he go in? Alright, he went in. And then now he's half clipped. And now I can do another half clip to get in. And now I can summon them from inside the fence. And now they're all in. So there you go. That's, that's the thing. That's the skip. I'm going to try to skip a little switch here by doing this. Oh, I didn't get it. Okay, since I don't want to die, because dying's really bad here, I'm just going to disable the electric fence. This should work. Um, sometimes you could pick up this map piece thing right here without disabling it, though. And since I'm a, I'm a risky young lad, I'm going to not do the safe strat here, where I kill the dog before I enter by batter heading through the wall. I'm, I'm just going to go for it. Oh, you'll see me, like, spinning around. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, okay. My, Ooh, that my. was really scary. Intriguing. All right, so there's a soft lock I can get here that I think maybe only I've gotten. Maybe, I think maybe my boy Miles might have gotten. I don't know. So it didn't happen. Sometimes those couches mm, that I'm supposed to break just work. don't break. <laughs> so now I'm in the clear once I've passed that thing. I've hit the checkpoint basically, and I can die worry-free. See, there I just died. It's probably faster for me to die right there in that circumstance since there was like eight spiders on me. Spiders. Spiders are bad. Alright. So this is like easily the hardest part of this game, and I have no idea what the developers were thinking when they made this. Or like, if they thought any kid would do it. I did it when I was a kid, I have no idea how, because I can barely do it right now, as a speed man. There's a couple methods of doing this, but I'm gonna do it the way where I just go through as double D, and then I die, and then I come back around as all of them. What I'm doing is I'm... running and like knocking down these bridges for me to walk on. But since I need all three Eds, once I knock down this last bridge over here, I can fall into the water. And I spawn back here. There's a chance you won't hit this checkpoint, and you won't spawn back here. And you have to like walk like a really long distance to get back. But it's all good. It's all good, homes. So now, um, we have to hope that these chocolate islands with their ice cube physics don't knock me off. Or like these... Okay, there's a rat here, which is really annoying. Okay, he fell off. Um, these tire swings have huge hitboxes. So they might hit me even if they're nowhere near me. But we got through the first side like flawlessly, which is pretty dope, not gonna lie. That never happens. So, now we're just gonna backtrack. Um, a little thing I don't think I've mentioned. When Eddie's carrying something in the Tower of Eddie, he moves faster. So that's kind of neat. Kind of weird. Oh, perfect spider egg. Little fun fact about Ignite, he was once like 15 minutes ahead and he like dropped the spider egg right in front of Jimmy. Um, yeah, I dropped it literally like right before the trigger you're supposed to hit with the spider egg. Another thing I've done is um, I was like three minutes ahead of my PV, right? I was on like the best run of my life. And um, I disabled the the electric fence to get the map, the first map piece, but I didn't get the first map piece. And um, I got the second one, and I got to the gate with one map piece. I was like, what the fuck, dude? I, I got it. 
and I just fucking yeah. yeah. So that switch I just like turned on to get in here. Um, it won't turn on unless you have both math pieces, which is what happened to ignite. So this is Victor. Um, I'm gonna knock him off again, like we did in Scam Four. Um, uh, Valve and Rain once got one cycle Victor here, I think. Legend says. Um, yeah, yeah, I saw it. I Victor saw it. Clipped through the ground. Oh, I fought him again. Right, yeah, so he like hit a seam and he just like clipped through the ground. And it was freaking crazy. Alright, so this is like one of those really bad video games where like the option that you don't want to do is always on yes. So yeah, I hit yes by accident. Here's a swag strat that Valve and Rame also found to get on top of this like rock. If Ed would get out of my way, dude. Jeez. Ed, stop. Ed, please. Alright, that's the swag strat. Usually you'd have to like do a trample Ed, and it would have been faster to do a trample Ed in that case. But you know, I do it for the swag. Oh, okay, I almost fell off. Jeez. That was... That was spooky. And I turn on the switch to open the store. And this is Dog Room. Let's hope I don't die in Dog Room. Oh, no. Okay, did not die in Dog Room. We gotta activate all these switches. Um, There's like this timer that you can see on top. In the middle of the screen, on top. Um, if that timer runs out, the Kanker sisters come in here and kiss me, and I die. But luckily, that's not gonna happen. My, intriguing. I once had a PB where I died like seven times to this one tire swing right there. So luckily, that didn't happen this time. We're living the good life. Hmm, this should work. Now we're gonna come in here, and this is like the end of the game. Um, I don't know what I just did there. Um, I'm supposed to be like, supposed to be picking up these cans that I just threw at this red thing, so I could knock it down, and knock like turn off the electric water. But instead, I just like broke a bunch of the cans. And I think when you break these cans, like when they get dented, they don't go as straight in the air. So I don't know. Not a big deal though. So, um, ready on time, by the way. It's coming up kinda soon. Oh, Yo, I'm standing by on time. Right. I got one more pillar to knock down. So, okay, I got kissed. You don't wanna get kissed here, cause you'll take damage. And, um, I'm gonna use a flamingo to finish the game. Usually we throw cans, but I'm gonna throw a flamingo. So I'm gonna throw the Oh Jesus, what was that? That was a huge like damage boost backwards. Alright, flamingo, don't let me down. Alright, um time. Um so the time on the stream's a little off because it was a little technical difficult, but probably around a twenty seven XX, something like that. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So yeah, we're uh, yeah. Thanks for thanks for filling in for us. Yeah, no problem, man. And yeah, thanks for. I think we're gonna grab. Uh, next up is Heckin Zero Kirby playing Pokemon TCG. Fantastic! I want to thank all my boys who showed up to watch me play this child's video game. Had a great time. God bless. Your boys, thank you too. No problem. Whoa, that was weird. Whoa.